Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Loper Report, your show for UNK sports this year. I'm Cannon Rath. And I'm Dalton Peterson. The UNK football team started their season against Missouri Southern State on Thursday, September 2nd. The game was originally scheduled for 7 p.m., but severe weather in the area delayed kickoff until 9.20. That didn't stop the Lopers from getting off to a good start. Let's get into the highlights. On the first possession of the game, it was T.J. Davis with a nice play here, nice little pitcher to Jaquan Connors for a nice gain of 47 yards down here for the Lopers. The Lopers drive would continue all the way down the four-yard line, but on fourth and goal, the Lions did get the goal line stop, which would remain the game at zero. In the second quarter, here's Davis, and he's going to find a wide open receiver. That's Cody Nelson down the sideline. He's going to take that for a 45-yard gain. Davis pulls a quarterback keeper, goes around the right side right here. He's going to take that around town into the end zone. He's got himself a nice touchdown. Lopers up 7-zip. Davis called his number for a second time on fourth and goal to punch it in to give UNK a 14-0 lead in the second quarter. Later in that quarter, Loper defensive lineman Tell Spees buries Lions running back Nathan Glades with a big time hit. Loper's going to the half, 14-0. Here we are, third quarter now. Davis looking deep. He's going to find Kylan Herrera. Pass is incomplete, but it would be a pass interference. Sets up the Lopers with great field position. Here we see the stripes. They're debating. It is pass interference. And now they're going to use that field position here that they get. Now, good field position here, third and goal. Davis pitches it over to Montrez Jackson. He doesn't quite get into the end zone, so fourth and goal now, but that's okay, because kicker Junior Gonzalez, he's gonna drill that, 24-yard field goal. Puts the Lopers up 17 to nothing. Late in the third quarter, the Lions with the ball, Nathan Glades trying to run it, but he's brought up there by a swarm of Lopers, and it came up short on fourth down for the Lions which would have been UNK football. On the ensuing drive, Davis finds the big crease and running down the sideline for a 31 yard before he was pushed out of bounds inside the 15. Now we go down, Davis, he's gonna give it to Montrez. Montrez Jackson takes it up the middle. That's good for a 17 yard touchdown right there. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna go over to those fans in the crowd, give them a nice high five, pump them up, Montrez. And then later, Lopers are going to get the ball right back. Davis, he's looking down the middle. That's Jerquan Connors. Look at that. Makes one move, two move, three moves. They can't catch him. And he's going to take that one down inside the 10. You're going to see Davis about the 10 here. He's going to roll to his left there. He's going to break it, breaks the man free, dives in, pile on, and guess what? He's in for his third and final touchdown of the game. Later on, we got some garbage time football. Backup quarterback, Jacob Green. He's going to find Michael Cook. Cook with a nice little spin move to sneak into the end zone there. That's going to be your last score of the game, too. UNK goes on to win this one, 38 to nothing. Here's what some of the coaches and players had to say after the game. You see them giving a nice little good game to each other right there. You know, I've, de I've, dealt, with, uh, I've dealt with lightning delays before. Um, however, maybe not to the extent of right before the game. You know, that's a little different. I mean, usually you get going and you get warmed up and you get out there and play a little bit, and, or maybe, you know, and then you gotta get called back in. This was, a, this was a little bit different in regards to, it just took us a little while to get going. Actually, like, we didn't know what was gonna happen. Uh, we didn't know if he was gonna play tomorrow, play tonight, but coach just told us to just stand there. We're gonna play the football to get, uh, game tonight. And that's what we stay focused on. Um, it definitely was, um, some I need it again because obviously I haven't got hit in like over a year. So I'm definitely going to be pretty sore tomorrow, but it's definitely good to get back out there. I'm really proud of the guys because we bowed our neck when we got into some fourth down situations. Uh, they drove the field and got down into scoring territory and we bowed our neck fourth down again. So just kind of getting the nuts and bolts figured out on those first two drives. You know, I'm going to tell you, say this is too, is I mean, we got, we got good senior leadership and we got guys like Shane Henderson, TJ Davis that really help develop those young guys and, and, and they, they've done a good job of setting the standard. I mean, I, I spend minimal time on, on having to get guys to practice and, and, you know, they're always on time to meetings for the most part. And, you know, that's, I'm not saying much. It's, it's these guys that's kind of taking over and, 
and, and helping those guys develop. The Lopers are led in passing and rushing by Davis, who was 8 for 12 with 160 yard passing and rushed for 140 yards on 30 attempts. They were led in receiving by Nelson, who has three catches for 75 yards. And on defense, the Lopers were led by J.C. Nutter. Three solo tackles, four assisted tackles. That's good for a total of seven if you can count at home. Now, let's switch to volleyball. The UNK volleyball team hosted their home opener on Wednesday, September 8th against the University of St. Mary's of Kansas. Spires are going to send it over here for the first shot of the game, but Maddie Squires sets up CC Beam, and guess what? First kill of the game there for the Lopers. The Lopers cut up a strong start in the first set with this block by Sammy Muck. Maddie Squires later in the game, she wants to get on on the action. Rather than setting the ball, she's just going to tip it right over the net right there. UNK would end up dominating that set 25 to 13. Here in the second set here, CC Beam is going to do her magic here. So you're going to see UNK get us up here, and CC Beam gets the nice kill there for the first points of the second set for UNK. And then here you're going to see a beautiful block made by both Bailey Sterling and Emerson Siza in the second set. Late second set here, Lopers up 24-15. Not for long, though, no, because Emerson Siza with the kill right there. Lopers take the seventh set by a score of 25 to 15. Third set, you're going to see Sammy Mock, not one, not two, not three, but ladies and gentlemen, four. That's right, one, two, three, four kills in a row. The Lady Lopers took the win in that set, 25 to 17, winning their match against the University of St. Mary's, 3-0. Here's what Coach Squires had to say on Mock after the game. Sure, Sammy was at a point where it was kind of, you know, do I keep doing this? I mean, she had to have another surgery on the knee, and uh, you know, maybe just walk away from the game, or I, do I make one more serious run at it? And she decided to make a really serious run at it, and she's trained extremely hard in the gym all fall. And she's gone after that position in, in every way. Back row, front row, she's getting comfortable as an attacker over there. And yeah, that serve is just really tough to handle. I mean, go back to the gambling game, we win that match on a serve that Sam Mock. It looks like it's going out, falls straight on, on the end line. And so in, in this day and age, with people being as good offensively as they are, it's, Nice to have a couple of Emerson Siza led the team in kills with a final of eight. Sammy Mock and CC Beam collectively led the team in blocks with two. Lindsey Nottleman led with digs with 24 during the match. And finally, Maddie Squires took the lead in assists with a final of 24 in the match. Thanks to News Channel Nebraska and the MIAA Network for the footage of this week's games. Anytime you're not able to attend a game in person, be sure to watch on News Channel Nebraska and the MIAA Network. Also, make sure to follow them on Twitter at NCN Sports and at the MIAA Network. For the Loper Report, I'm Cannon Rath. And I'm Dalton Peterson. We will see you again soon.